Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Circle Debate Top 5 of the Week for week number 12. This is your host, Devious One Ivan C, alongside one brother from another mother, uh, the killer of all killers that will kill your motherfucking tweets. He killed it already. He's going to kill more and more and more. I cannot wait when he starts doing it on Instagram, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Repetition, repetition killer, Josh Ben Horton, ladies and gentlemen. And also, we have. The studio of all studios, the MGC, Mr. MGC, Mr. Matthew, with the carrot stick. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bust it. I don't think they're ever going to use this in hardcore wrestling. It's too, it's too solid. Uh, it's that's, not like like, a, that's like a Sam Callahan fucking uh, baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, for a Karen. <laughs> you, have to use, you, have to use the, you have to use this thing differently. <laughs> that new carrot stick, ain't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to start off now with the, our top five best championships. Doesn't matter what championship goes. This could, it doesn't have to be the main championship. It could be a tag team, European, United States, and the continent. doesn't matter. Like, but you could discuss about which era is it. So now we'll see who we're going to pick. Uh, oh, and just to also mention, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Hero is not here with us today. Obviously, he partied out his whole weekend, birthday weekend, so... Yeah, he's carrying his hangover right now as we speak, with a <laughs> with a great glass with a big great glass of milk. Of milk. <laughs> I was actually yeah. I was just drinking that just now. <laughs> Give him a angle. So, yeah, well, yeah, yep. So we we did wish him a very very well happy birthday to American hero Mike Lopez. He's curing his hangover with a glass of milk and in bed. So cure it up, Mike. So we can see you next Wednesday. <laughs> next Friday. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on, ladies and gentlemen. So, the top five. So, who's going to go first? Uh... MGC. Let's All go right. with you first. So All right. Let's do this. Top to bottom, bottom to top. We're going to go bottom to top, like usual. So, number five okay. is the WWF Winged Eagle Belt. Okay. The, the 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 same when so many so many you'd say it's like between golden era and attitude era or like early attitude era is that the amount of time this belt like like everybody held this belt from Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold back to Bret Hart and Macho Man and Hulk Hogan and Yokozuna like so so many people but I think I think just because it was a contemporary of the big gold belt because the big gold belt would kind of like came around the the like same time you know that this belt got introduced i think because it was the belt that was before this was the wwf belt that was before this was was was, that green, was the green one remember it was the green one and then he changed it to like the uh what was like, i forgot it was like the 80 i think it was 85 86 belt that was kind of yeah like, uh, Black. There was. There was. I think it was a black stripe. Uh, the black, you know, stripe and uh, I don't know. It, it looked like a U, like a almost a U. I forgot how it looks like. I don't remember, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. So I'm gonna move up to my number four, and this was. I think this was uh, our, our missing hangover friends number one pick, but this is my number four pick, the big gold belt. And you'll oh. see, you'll see when when I get to my other ones, you'll be kind of surprised. Well, not overly surprised. This isn't too much of a swerve. So, like the World Heavyweight Championship, right? Yeah, the World Heavyweight Championship, big gold belt, WCW, the NWA when it was the NWA belt, and you know that I think I was. It's it's crazy seeing all the different people who held it, and then the different places it's gone. Because there was a period of time when it wasn't in WCW, when it was like reactivated for like Rick Rude held it, or Rick Rude defended it against Masahiro Chono in the New Japan, uh, the New Japan during the G1 climax, and it was like the prize of that. And then it was, and then they had Great Muda versus Masahiro Chono, and Great Muda united both the IWGP and the NWA Heavyweight Championship belt. And then he dropped it to, to I think it was, I forgot if it was Barry Windham or Ric Flair. It was one of those two. Mm, okay. I think it was Ric Flair. Yeah. I think it was Ric Flair. So number right. three. Number three. Number, number three. 
the Ring of Honor World Champion belt. The current. Oh, one. okay. The current one, because the main the main thing I like the most, and we're we're kind of gonna be following this theme is is I like big belts when it comes. If it's the top prize of the company, I kind of expect <clears throat> it to be a really big belt. You know, just because I mean you might have some really tall, big fat or you know portly sized wrestlers heavy set guys buff guys you'll have small guys too and the small guys will make it look good because it's such a big belt you know like like when it's a small belt i don't really see you know like like no offense to the 10 pounds of gold but i i a big belt like the ring of honors current belt actually looks like you know it makes it, it's a representation of the company and kind of makes even the company look good and a big deal so i like big not too circular, but not too square. You know, right, just, right. Like, it's kind of like an oval shape, but because they made it bigger, probably before what it was. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ring of Honor did have they their belt was pretty. It, it is prestige. I'm with you on that because because of the first time when they took it out, it wasn't like that big. It looked like almost like an IC belt, like the original, you know, the original IC belt almost looked like that. But the the previous one, but this current one doesn't look bad. I like it how it looks. I like how big it is. That's the main thing. Like when I when I first saw it slung around Jay Lethal's shoulder, it just it looks like that's a big, powerful belt. You know? Yeah. I see. I can see like, and it makes the people who hold it look good. That's that's another other benefit I see from it. My number two, my number two belt, the current IWGP New Japan Pro Wrestling belt. That's another big. Once again, we're going with big big beautiful belts you know that and just just the fact i think it, it's almost the other way around other than just the belt alone making the holder look good but it's it's all the storyline that's built around it like yeah. the fact that that okada held it that same belt for so long and it takes so much just to take that belt off somebody you know or it takes such a long career for you to take that belt you know oh. the, that the new japan heavyweight champ IWGP heavyweight championship belt you know the current one it's 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 worth it's definitely worth its weight you know very very important all righty and the numero uno drum roll, number one? Drum roll. I, I definitely want you guys to look at this one the all japan triple crown championship belt really That's the, all right. That's their. That's their. That is that company's top belt, and All Japan was was uh, New Japan's main rival because the main when it when it branched off it was Antonio Inoki with New Japan and it was Giant Baba with All Japan. So All Japan, their belt, it's it's so big and it has a crown atop of it and it's you know it's got that jeweled look, and it's it's such like a unique shape you know. It, it looks like something that you like have to bleed to get, you know, it's not, it's, it's definitely no toy and you know, you're like a big deal when you're holding it. That's okay. probably one of the most beautiful belts I've ever looked at. All right. You guys, well, you have the, at it. You, you can share with our audience of your on share screen. Actually, if you go ahead and share yeah. it so they can get a better idea. I got to close some windows. <laughs> 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 you want to share with our audience. Uh, basically the belt, so that everybody can be familiar of the All Japan Championship, which I forgot all about that one. Actually, I you know what, I never I never paid attention to the belt. I never did. Here we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. You see it there. Wow, that was the All oh, Japan. Oh yeah. Triple Crown. Okay, now I remember. Okay, yeah. You could see why I'd go for like something like this. I'm pretty sure most of the viewers are familiar with the Ring of Honor belt or the, the New Japan belt. The big gold and the winged eagle, like everybody's everybody's seen, but this is this is the mwah, the fiesta, the resistance. Oh, okay, yeah, we we we. You can see why. You can see why I'd go for something like that. You know, it just it looks it looks good. That's it. It's so regal. I mean. I guess like the NXT UK belt kind of would remind you of it a little bit, but still, yeah. you know. It does a little bit. It does. It does. Um, all right. Good. Hey, good. Wow. I've been really impressed. I'm surprised they picked that all Japan one. 
<laughs> and I'm, I was surprised that you actually put New Japan number two. I would expect you to put it number one. Mm. I was waiting for that. <laughs> that, just, that belt, that belt is just prettier. Like I looked at Dragon Gate's belt, and I looked at, and I also looked at Pro Wrestling Noah's belt, and they just looked like substandard, like just like on That's the what, same level as MLW. Yeah, yeah I agree. I That's agree. just they just knew how to make a beautiful belt. I would put AEW's belt as as honorable mention just because they're still it's a beautiful belt, but it's still so new. You know, they, they it has the prestige that they have to build up behind it to get to where it is. I mean, you know, yeah, it is probably one of the best belts for a new company. I'll say most definitely. All righty, now we're moving on, which will be me. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll be, I'll save Mr. Killer for last. So I will go. So I'm going to go, obviously, top to bottom. So my number top five, number five, okay? Well, I should be the WWF World Tag Team Championships. Like those big belts, the tag team champions, the one that FTR will hold on to it on their Instagram and Twitter. I love those tag team belts because it makes the tag team division, that belt makes the tag team division prestige. It gives it a prestige and it makes it more like, oh my God, those belts were, and it was bigger than the Eagle belt. The, the, belt, the You know, the tag belts were bigger than the Eagle belt and bigger than the Intercontinental. So I, I love those tag team championships from the WWF, you know, back in the days. I did enjoy those. That what I did. So that's my number five. It's, it's the book. one with the globe behind it and it's got yeah. gold and big red letters. Yeah, yes. That one. I love it. That was like my favorite one. I, I, lo I love those tag Compared to the Raw and SmackDown ones right now. <laughs> oh, my God. I, like, I don't know if those belts man. would even be in the conversation. I don't know they're about there, you guys. No. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. And they're not, oh. even, they're not even honorable mentions at all. Who, uh, whose idea was those belts? I mean, I, like, uh, I let's no be idea. gladiators. Let's be right. gladiators. Gladiator. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, man, those AEW titles are tag team titles. Wow, man. They oh, built yeah. The tag team titles in the other, other companies out of water, bro. Oh, yeah. I, I agree with him on that one. All right. So, all right. Now, my number four. Um, wow. This is going to be a tough one. My number four, actually, yeah, you know what? It has to be, for me, the 10 pounds of gold. It has to be, you know, because back, you know, NWH, you know, World Championship belt, it did give it a lot of prestige with, you know, during the, the Ric Flair era, the Dusty era. Um, shit, even Terry Funk won the belt for Harley Race. Harley yeah. Race. Oh, man, that belt was like, wow. Because that was the first belt that actually represented – the world, you know, even it was, was defended in, in, in Japan, was defended in Mexico, was defended all over the world. Mina Moscas, I believe, held the belt before too as well. Um, so that belt means a lot. And that that 10 pounds of gold was a very prestigious belt. And I like how Ric Flair, especially Ric Flair and Harley Race, how they, so they, they, they made that belt prestige at that era. They made it, this is the most important shit of all time. So yes. Uh, I, I have to go with the NW 10 pounds of, you know, of gold on that one. Oh, instant classic. It's a classic, ladies and gentlemen. You have to go with the classic. Goddamn, you got to defend the classic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, uh, of course, the number three would actually be the World Heavyweight Championships. I have to go with you on that. Mr. MGC, yes, the old the World Heavyweight Championship, also as well. That big gold, the gold, the, the big gold one. Obviously, it's classic, man. You, you, uh, I don't love that belt. Introduced at uh, Sh the Shy Town, the Shy Town Raw. I keep forgetting the name. <laughs> <laughs> Flair versus Dusty. Where, yes. where, where? I mean, I mean, Flair versus Steamboat. Where Steamboat wore the green uh, tights. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I that belt was a little prestigious. I loved it. I enjoyed it. Shy Town Rumble. That's what. Shy Town Rumble. Okay, okay. But that belt, I love it. I couldn't say no to that belt at all. I would. I would mind having it to this day. Shit, I think that. To be honest, that should be the Universal Championship, the World Heavyweight. They should have kept it how it was. 
Why would you put another belt that looks similar but a different fucking color? Like, that's Very fucking good, stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. stupid. That's, they fucked it up. It's stupid. They should have kept it how it was before. How, you know, the Raw tag team, which is that black and gold, and the SmackDown one, which was the blue and gold. That looked great. I think so that, that split, those belts look legit. And they, they did it right. I don't know why they changed it. World heavyweight and like, but it's a new era. We all know it's a new era for for the product, so we already know all that. So it is what it is. I don't want to jump into that shit because it pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But all right, so I'm gonna move on. So then my number two. Uh, oh, did you say number three? All right. Oh, that, yeah, that was the, that the was heavyweight. That was yeah. The heavyweight. Yeah. My number two would be actually the IWGP. Uh, World Heavyweight Championship. Mm -hmm. I love it, the current one. Yeah. Even, I mean, overall, I think, honestly, I have to add them in there overall because that belt is prestigious as fuck and the, the design, how it looks, oh, it's fucking beautiful. It, I like it. I got to like, say that the older version of the IWGP belt, the one Vader held, yes. it was a little bit too small because when, when Great Muda was holding the big gold belt and the IWGP, it looked tiny, like, by con by comparison. <laughs> It did, it did. I, I'm with you on that. But, uh, yeah, the current one, I love it because it, how you said Okada made it look prestige and even everybody, Taito, Kenny Omega, we could name a lot of AJ them. Styles. Even when AJ. Of Honor. They, yep. it's, it's weird. I don't know the whole story, but why didn't they let – sorry if it's an aside, but why? I don't know why Kenny, Kenny Omega wasn't allowed to wear it at All In, but – but uh, AJ Styles was wear, able to wear it for a Ring of Honor event because it was it was a, a it wasn't a or it wasn't an organization. So this was a, all like all buddies together. They only had permission to bring their stars like Okada. They brought and um, so they were only allowed to bring each pair of stars and not wear the belt. So they, mm. they so they couldn't do it because so, it's not a it's not an establishment. This is just only like a, like everybody like a, all friends putting like an indie show. So they yeah, allow in was like it was like a was was just kind of an unincorporated kind exactly. Of thing. Yeah. exactly yeah exactly because if they because if they would have shown the belt they wouldn't got no I'm pretty sure they were looking for a cut but I don't think they did so I don't think New Japan got a cut at all but yeah that's my number two and my number one will have to go wow I know this is gonna be a shocker to you guys. But I love this belt, the Broken Skull Championship belt. Oh, it's got uh, a lot of right there. It's, it's uh, Stone Cold's yeah, yeah, yeah. Stone and Stone Cold. Cold's only. Exactly. He only one man can wear that belt. Oh, my God. The Broken Skull. He killed it. I loved it. The design the, for the rattlestick skin in the back of the belt. You want to oh. share screen? We should. You you guys want to share screen for all the our number one picks? Go ahead. You go ahead and put the Broken Skull. I love that belt. I love it. You can't go wrong with that belt. And I'm glad how Austin defended that belt so you know, so great. And it was a great storyline with him and The Rock. Oh, yes, there you go. Oh, my God. That's the beauty. That's the beauty right I there. Love it. I love that. Belt. I love it. I love that title. I only love one it. Man, only one man can hold that belt. Stone you know. Cold, Stone Cold, baby. Stone Cold, Stone, Stone Cold, Cold, Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Austin. Put some stank Austin. on it. Austin. Put Austin. some stank on it. What? Some stank on it. What? What? No, no. Um, what belt? Did, what belt is it? What? Oh my what? God. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what? The what? The what belt? What? <laughs> oh man, I love that belt a lot, and that's like my favorite one of all time. I what am gonna, belt? I, I am gonna buy that belt. What belt? What? 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 Whose belt? What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> and my honorable mentions, I have two honorable mentions. Uh, the honorable mention, obviously, of course, the Eagle Championship that you, you put in your top five. That's one. The other one that was actually underrated uh, is the, believe it or not, it's the European Championship belt. Mm. Oh, that's a good pick. You could build I like that. storylines I, I, around I, that. Belt. I actually enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it was great storylines. And I remember when, the, you know, Owen Hart and British Bulldog competed for that belt. Oh, my God, I loved it. But that European belt actually meant something, to be honest. I liked it. 
because they should. I think that was the ticket in for them to be in, you know, doing their European tours, even though they were doing it already. But I felt like that was her ticket in to have someone to be a European champion for the for Europe. Like it fit well with, with Davy Boy Smith. Owen Hart did not. Shawn Michaels did not. It fit. It fit with William Regal. I think William Regal was one of my favorites. European championship, you know, it was one of my favorites to have that belt. So, I'm, of course, I would choose William Regal to have it all day. Do you guys think there should, because they had a they had a European championship belt and it, it meant so much like you just mentioned, Ivan. Do you think there should ever be an Asian championship belt? Not, and, and it doesn't have to be WWF because there's so many different organizations nowadays. And like, I'm thinking the organization that should have an Asian championship belt should be OWE, Oriental Wrestling, the the yes. organization that that AEW is partnered with. I think like OWE should have like a like a Asian championship. Belt. I agree. Yeah, I agree. But it, I, it's kind of hard to call it that because you know because of the whole you know race thing and fashion. You know, it's just it, it's there it has to be like another different type of like term to it so it won't offend anybody mm-hmm. because they're calling it an Asian championship is like what the fuck you're calling me so you're just because you're Asian you gotta be the Asian champion like, <laughs> I mean, like no nah, like, yeah. oh, there has to be a, a different name to it so it can, it's an and it's an Asian company who has the belt too mm-hmm. you know so it's it's OWE they're the they're out of China they're out of Shanghai they're yeah. based out of Shanghai so yeah maybe it only could be defended in 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 on the Asian continent, it can only be defended or change hands there. So if you're ever doing a pay per view, that would make sense. That would make sense. I'm with you on that. Book it. You hear it here first. There you go. You heard it here first. Book it. Yeah, book so, it. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Sounds good. All right, now we save the best for laughs. The Mister Killer of all killers that kills y'all tweets and your Instagram and Facebook and all the social media platforms. He's gonna kill you shit. He's gonna kill it right now with his top five. So here we go, Mr. Killer. Bottom. All right, it was your number five. Number five. I'm gonna go with the IWGP United States Championship, man. Ooh, I like that belt. I actually really like that belt. Yeah. Ever since I saw it, man, man, took my breath away. That's the most beautiful title belt I've seen in a while, man. It still, I don't know if any other title belt matches it as good as it. Is it's probably the best United States Championship title in any promotion I've ever seen. It's a really big I, belt too. Yeah, it really is. Oh, and was it Kenny Omega the first champion, or who's mm-hmm. Kenny was yeah. the first? And then we had Jay White, Juice Robinson, and Cody, Cody. and Moxley, and Moxley, Moxley, yeah, Moxley, and Moxley so, is still the champion right now. I think uh, no, it, it, he he dropped. Did they strip him? He vacated it, and it was between Lance Archer and Juice Robertson, and Juice Robertson won it. Oh, no, but he won it back from from uh, Lance Archer at, at uh, Wrestle Kingdom. On the oh, second no, no, oh, oh, you're right, you're right. Lance, the, Lance had it, and then Moxley took it away from him. In the in the Texas death match. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So who has that, though? So it's still, it's still Moxley right now. Okay. January wow. 4th. Wow, I didn't. Wow, I didn't know. I, I thought it would have been Juice. Yeah, no, no, the, like Juice. I think, like Juice, because it, it was between Juice and Lance Archer. Lance Archer won it back on night one of Wrestle Kingdom. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Because Moxie couldn't make it, they had to strip him from, from it. So then they made uh, Lance Archer the interim. And then yeah, he back. won it at the King of Pro Wrestling event, yes. and then. Yeah. Lance Archer dropped it to Moxley at Wrestle Ooh. Kingdom 14. Okay, so Moxley's still the chapter. Yeah. All right. Mr. Killer, number four, number cuatro. Uh, number four, let's see. I'm going to go with um, whenever I started watching, uh, uh, first belt I saw was the Winged Eagle belt. So I'm going to go with that one. And that title was beautiful. And a lot of people that you asked, What's their favorite title? What's they going to say? Most of them says the Wing Dingle title. Yeah. It was, it defined the era. I yeah. mean, so many of us grew up with that belt, too. That's probably why it's made its way into the same spot on all of our lists, too. <laughs> I just noticed that. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, but well, I, I, that was my honorable mention, though. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Number tres. Number three. Uh, number three, I'm going to go with, let's see, the, I'm going to go with the title that came right after that, the WWE title that came right after that. The rounded one? The, yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah, because the, that's when I really started getting into wrestling. The, the Wheaton Eagle was only around for like a few months when I first started watching, but the, the, the round plate one, uh, it was around right in that Stone Cold Austin era, right in the mix of the Attitude era. And look at that title. It just brings back so many memories of all the fucking great matches between Austin Rock, Taker, Kane, all of them, Triple H. Uh, that title right there to me will stand, stand the test of time. So that's my number three. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, I think that's the one that um, Austin cut himself in the, chi in the chin when he stunned Vince. They came up to him and <laughs> cut him. He just cut him up right there, like left him a scar for life. He still has it to this day. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I I'm with you on that. That WWE, uh, WWF belt was actually the shit. It was a nice blue one. Nice blue belt. I actually enjoyed it. Oh, uh, yeah, I I'm with you on that. All right, numero dos. Numero dos. Oh man, this is, I'm gonna go with IWGP. Oh no, yeah, I'll go with IWGP World Heavyweight Title. There you Woo. go. There you go. And this is the three. Yep, we got. Wow, it's not beautiful of a belt. It is a beautiful belt. You can't go wrong with it. It's a beautiful belt. By the way, show everybody on the. Even though we, it's not number one, but show it why we yeah, chose for all those who aren't yeah, familiar. Who well, I'm familiar with it because. I mean, the belt itself is so fucking precision. It's big, man. But, I mean, yeah, Mr. Killer, go ahead and tell the, tell the audience why that belt. Because that belt right there, man, when you look at it, you see a real championship, man. I, every time I look at it, don't they on the sides of it got all the champions' names wrote down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's definitely. right. You're right. Yep. That's the beauty of it. See, I never knew another company to do that with the wrestling titles. And this looks fucking awesome. Um, not to mention the history that it has from being held by everybody from uh, Kenny Omega to uh, Jay White to AJ Styles. See, the list goes on and on. And There's on. A, there are the list of names on the on the side plates right there. There you go. There's Big Van Vader, Takata. Chorno, of course, yeah. Rock Lesnar had it too. Morton. Yeah, Lesnar had it too. Lesnar had it too. Oh man, that that belt is beautiful. You can't go wrong with that. Ricky yes. Choshu. Yeah, Lesnar's name. Tatsumi Fujinami, AJ Styles, Roshi Tanahashi. That's that's. You know what's sad that obviously didn't count Kurt Angle that because that that wasn't the yeah, real the third belt. I, the, the, yeah, the third one. But all right, it's numero uno, Jumbro. Let's hear it. I'm going to have to go with the AEW World Heavyweight title. Oh, okay. all right. Real. It is Let's good. Let's share it. Share it. There we go. Oh, ever, ever since that title was unveiled, oh, my God, man. We've seen a lot of shitty titles recently that was made before this happened, and all those titles – didn't turn out to be that good from the two WWE World titles with the big W's on them. <laughs> I, I remember when we saw it at, all, at uh, Double or Nothing when it was first revealed. All of us were like ha had our jaws dropped, you know, just it's, that it's, first event of AEW. Yeah. We were it's a I thing of beauty, it. man. Seeing like when I saw Bret Hart holding it up in Vegas, I was like, "This is that gleam. This is how it appeared to all of us when our eyes first like were laid upon it, because it reminded us of, of that both the big gold belt and the IWGP Championship belt as a little bit of as a little bit of both of those in there. But it, it looks like it definitely looks like something that you know, definitely not a toy. You know, worth the worth the struggle." the battle for this belt, you know. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Any honorable mentions, Mr. Kendall? Uh, the big gold, just like uh, Mike said. And 
I see. I believe uh, the TNA the, the TNA title that Moose is wearing. I like that title. Oh yeah, you know what? I forgot about that. You're right. That that championship belt was not that bad. That TNA one. And also like the um, I like I, I like the new. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go with the new IWGP. Um, Let's see. The new IWGP. Now the new IWGP. Here we go. I got it. The, this honorable mention right here is going to be, um, let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. <laughs> ROH title. ROH title. That's it. Yeah. The Ring of Modern one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, can't, I can't get enough of that, man. That title is beautiful, too. The current one, right? It took me a while to think of it because they are like, Still connected to, to to ROH, right? Yeah, when they, yeah. When they run shows, oh yeah. Well, you know, there's one title that even though it wasn't like a actual real title, but we all know that it was like wow when it first came out. Was the million dollar belt? Ah, mm. uh, the million dollar belt. Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase. <laughs> that can do his laps hard. Yeah, I can't do that shit. <laughs> Mm-mm. Oh my god, but I mean, definitely, um, that's a good honorable mention right there. But uh, you know what? Another belt too was the AWA championship. That one's really was close to the big belt too. So if Hogan, you want to, if you want to show that, at one yes, time, right? Vern Vern Gagne, Vern Gagne, Nick Bockwinkel, Hulk Hogan has held it. Did Je- so, Jesse Ventura ever hold it? I no? believe he did. I think he did. Right. Look into that, but you want to give the audience a look at what the AWA championship looks like so they can kind of have an idea. Like that belt wasn't that, you know, yeah. The, yep, 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 yep. Exactly. Was this the last one they used? This one? In that, the that was the last one they used. That was the last one they used. Yeah. But the first one, which was the bottom one, you see, like, a, let's see, not that one. The one, yeah, scroll down a little bit. The other one, that one. I That one I did like. That one right there. That one I did like. That was a beautiful fucking belt. Bachwinkle. Yes. Bach I'm going to look on the history. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a very prestige belt. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, Bachwinkle. Somebody said that that he, like Hornette said, he liked Bachwinkle and Flair better than Flair and, and Lawler. For some I actually like Lawler really than, like, I prefer Lawler because Lawler was, for me, Lawler was hot at the time during that Lawler era. And- Lawler and Ric Flair was hot. I mean, shit. That's another belt that it should be mentioned. You know what? We forgot to mention one belt that was extreme, which is on obviously ECW. ECW. Belt. I mean, come on. We, there's so many belts, man. And they're, the they're, they're 2001 belt, right? Yes. Not their, yeah, not their <laughs> not the reboot. <laughs> not the reboot. The 2001 belt. Like That one was, was a great one, too. That ECW one was also great. There's so many good belts, man. There's, pretty, there's a lot. You, we can name a lot of them. Like, there's so many very good ones. Here we go. Yep. Yep. That one. Not that piece of shit right there. Not the, the silver one. Not the silver one. This bu- bad boy. Yes, that bad boy meant something because it did. Terry Punk, meant- Sabu, RVD. Yeah. You know, oh Tommy Dreamer, Tommy Sandman. Raven. Oh Sandman, and shout out to you. Who- yes. <laughs> We appreciate you, sad man. We love you, brother. We love you. But yes, definitely, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I, we appreciate you guys for tuning in, for watching the top five best championship belts. Um, obviously, our American hero was not enjoying us because he was he's carrying his hangover with a big glass of milk. So he, he's you know big glass of milk. Yeah. So he enjoyed that as well. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, from us to you guys. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for tuning in. Um, can you see, can we get the screen off? <laughs> so we can say goodbye to our viewers. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you guys. Don't forget to tune in next Sunday as we're going to go ahead and actually have um, our top week 13, top five, which is our top five Mount Rushmore. So, you know, there's four, now it's going to be five. We're all gonna choose who's the greatest wrestlers of all time from our for our top, not Mountain Rush, but four, but five. So 
that's going to be an interesting coming up next Sunday. So tune in for that. And also, we're going to tune in next Friday. As obviously episode 13, we'll go ahead and actually report more of what's going on in the pro wrestling world and give me about SmackDown, Raw, AEW, and NXT. So tune in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and to our social platform, social media platform below as well in the description. So once again, this is your host, Steve, is what I can see. Alongside with my brothers right here with Mr. Studio of All Studios, MGC, Mr. Matt. With the Karen stick, I want you the Karen <laughs> stick. <laughs> and also we have the killer of all killers, Mr. Josh Bernard Horton, who's gonna be killing your reputation. So you better watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. <laughs> the stick <laughs> That's right, old school right there. Well, for us, to you guys, we're saying Frost, Salud. And we will see you guys next Friday and next Sunday. Good night, everybody. Hello?